Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Out of the Can, our second of our laser tag review series. This week we're taking a look at what is now the old, new arena in the city in a weird way. They weren't here before Katrina, but they're here now and... They came in before the, la the uh, laser... Laser tag games tag reopened. Games reopened, yeah. And yeah, basically... It's Adventure Quest Laser Tag off Clearview Boulevard, 1200 Clearview, um, mm -hmm. Clearview Parkway, my apologies. Uh, it's behind the Fox and Hound from the AMC Movie Theater in that weird area right there. Mm -hmm. um, this arena is one we actually have some weird history with. Yes. Uh, when we, after Katrina, we played there semi-regularly, mm -hmm. not too often, but the equipment there... It yeah. was shoddy. It was not consistent. It, it was inconsistent. It was old. It was breaking. And it sort of came to a head. We stopped going for a while, mm -hmm. but decided when there was a Groupon offering. Notice these Groupon trend here. Yeah, I know. Um, we're cheap. We're, we are cheap. <laughs> but it appeared, and we said, okay, well, we'll give them another shot. Right. Got there, and basically the Groupon deal was for an Aztec 8 pass, which basically mm -hmm. gave us both eight games of laser tag. Right. Uh, normally that's twenty bucks a person, but this was twenty bucks for the both of us. Right. But however, we played six of those games, and only in two of them did both of our packs work consistently. Right. And in one really embarrassing incident, I ran in there, and the battery just fell out of the back, shutting me off dead. Right. Well, I wrote the owner, uh, mm -hmm. Suzanne's her name, and much to my surprise and elation, she wrote me back. Right. And she said that they had been planning on doing a pack, an upgrade of the entire pack system, and that thanks to my letter, they were actually speeding up the process. Right. As a result, now they have the newest equipment in New Orleans, even newer than Laser Tag and Games. Yes. Old arena, newer equipment, and I've got to say, we'll start there, actually. Yeah. The equipment, pretty badass. Yeah, it is. It. I haven't seen this kind of vest before. You may have in your because you uh, have more experience. I think this is the up the newer model of the older ones they have. I think it's mm -hmm. the same company, but a much newer version of but it. But it, instead of going over your head, it comes around the yeah. sides and clips in the front. Mm -hmm. Which I which is depending on your taste, that could be easier or harder to put on. I found I like it a little it more better. difficult. <laughs> she found it a little harder, but it's it, it's not it's not as bad as laser tagging games with a little. Children's vest trying to pull it over your head no. <laughs> and choking you. These are very you know, good sized vests. They fit children well and they fit adults well. It's in that middle range where mm -hmm. it feels right for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, the gun is really good, really solid. Yes. Um, I had a minor problem with one of the games we played. Uh, and I should, we should disclose, by the way, that because of my letter writing, not for the review, but for the letter writing, that right. she did give us two Aztec 8 passes for free. Because we only got to really use two of the first ones. Yeah, exactly. So she gave us free ones in, ex yeah. in exchange for the review and she, in exchange for, not the review rather, but no. for us coming back <laughs> right. and playing the arena and then writing her to tell her what we thought and how the equipment was. That was the deal. Correct. It had nothing to do with review. She didn't know about Garbage Horror at the time. No. In fact, I doubt she doesn't. still does. <laughs> Suzanne, if you're seeing this, thank you. Yes. But anyways. Now, the equipment worked very well. I had a problem with one game where the, the little grip the sensor here that checks to make sure you're holding with two hands was a little bit sh a little bit waffly, but it wasn't terrible. But overall, spot on, dead accurate. In fact, sometimes a little too accurate, too yeah. easy to hit people. Uh, we did a test game with just the two of us. Very sensitive. and Sometimes, like I said, too sensitive. But overall, excellent equipment. Yes. And it was a good buy. You know, it's solid, it's reliable, it doesn't break. I did not have a problem in any one of those eight games. Mm -mm. And th there was no major complaints about the packs at all. I mean, that's the thing is, good equipment, you don't notice it's there. I didn't notice it. Right. And that's exactly what you want. What I did notice was the arena. Yes. And this is one of my favorite arenas to play. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to describe because it's kind of all over the map. It's a rather large arena. Right. But it centers around a tower structure that's in pretty much dead center of the mm -hmm. square arena. And there's cover all the way around it, and there's two bases, one for red, one for blue, to be found on the ground. Mm -hmm. And long story short, you attack the base, you can each get it three times. Right. And then the tower's the high ground, try to take it and try to hold it. Right. You also have half towers on yes. the sides. You have plenty of nooks and crannies if yeah. you're on the, the uh, ground. If you're trying stuck on the ground, yeah. Trying to get up to the tower. Yeah. 
Um, the tower isn't always the best place to be. In yeah, this, this is an extremely balanced arena. Right. Which is something that's very unusual. I mean, like Frankie's Fun Park in South Carolina, our old stomping mm. grounds, the tower dominated yeah. all. That was the one place to rule them all. Exactly. You got and held that, you owned the game. I mean, when we were there, there was a guy, a group of guys, mm -hmm. about probably a few years younger than not, us. Not too much, But though. not too much. And they took the tower, and there's a six of them. So there's three on each side. They should have been able to Own kick. the game. Yeah. And we were pinning them down right. from the back wall. because From the ground. Because you're able to snipe into the tower. You're able to snipe mm -hmm. back down. But you're not impervious in the tower. Your advantage is not, you know, invincibility, so to speak. No. You're very vulnerable up there, especially if you're not coordinated in how you def defend it. Right. And you were able to flush those poor guys out. Well, I was able to do that a few times whenever the tower got held by many people yeah. like that. Just go up the ramp and clear and them out. And have someone on the ground pinning them down, then go up and yeah. flush them out. Pay That's them all it is. down, and I would walk up and shoot. And we'd coordinate these attacks. It was brain dead easy. But it's yeah. a very balanced arena. Yes. And it... it Going back to the laser tag and games review, I hate to do that. Okay. But where that one encouraged camping, you can camp in this arena if it's your thing. There are some good camping spots. Right. But it really encourages movement. There's a lot of good cover. You can go from cover to cover to cover. Right. There's a lot of upward mobility. As there's multiple levels you can go on. Mm -hmm. And really, it's a very fluid game. You have to work in a team because it's such a large arena mm -hmm. that it's not just chaos everywhere. You have to you know, be able to move as a unit and work together mm -hmm. to accomplish goals. Right. There are also a lot of windows and cut-throughs, mm -hmm. and it's easy to get sniped through those, and also mirrors on the walls. Mm -hmm. um, the other difference that I want to point out real quick... Yeah between the two arenas, laser tagging games was very utilitarian yes. in the decoration. You can tell that Adventure Quest, it's, you know, decorated with an Aztec theme with, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's there for fun. Yeah. It looks fun. And, and it surprisingly works as a theme. You think Aztec, that's going to look stupid, but actually yeah. it looks pretty darn cool. Yeah. And, you know, well, there were a little bit of laser tag games. Well, I kind of enjoyed the catchphrases in the pack and some right. of that stuff. It was kind of fun. These packs made it very, very clear what was going on at all times. You knew instantly what was happening, where you got shot, because it would vibrate. If you got shot in the shoulder, the shoulder right. would vibrate, the chest would vibrate, the back would vibrate. Mm -hmm. Um... It was Rumble controller technology. Exactly. It was very, very straightforward. <laughs> right. And very simple to use, unlike, you know, the other packs where it's like, what happened? <laughs> huh? Right. Exactly. Why am I down? It, it, it was kind of confusing at times. Mm -hmm. But this arena really does encourage that kind of fluid, active gameplay where you have to keep moving. And these games are 10 minutes long. Right. You're going to be breaking a good sweat if you're playing this game mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, unless you're a true bona fide camper... You're going to be working your butt off in this game. It's going to be tough. And if you're a camper, I'm going to frustrate the heck out yeah, of you. Yeah, she loves picking on campers. And it, it's it's a great arena for very balanced gameplay. It's an arena that novices can pick up and do fairly mm -hmm. well. As long right. as they learn about the bases, mm -hmm. they can pick up and do very well at. But experienced players can pick up some of the tips and tricks and the various uh, tidbits and do really well with too. Mm-hmm. But, you know, the advantage isn't so great that, hey, we, we, we've been shut down a few times. I'm not going to lie. We've had our off days. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just a, it's a very pleasant game experience right. overall. The only criticism I would have of the arena itself is how long the bases stay down between yeah. times you can shoot them. Yeah, it's about it's 30 seconds. Long. It's about 30 seconds. 30 seconds doesn't sound long. No. But you know, go ahead and, and imagine you're playing a 10-minute game. Right. That's one twentieth of your game gone waiting for the base to come back. Right. And so, I mean, then go back to Laser Tag and Games. Those, the bases come back online immediately. Now, the one good thing about that, right. that encourages teamwork. Right. Now, you've got to get homies around you to protect your butt while you're trying to take the base. Right. You've got to get two or three people to work together on this. Yeah, if the other team knows about them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And one other thing I don't like is that the base setup also does give an advantage, I think, to the blue team. Mm hmm Because yeah. the, cause the red base is up close. Right. Right as you come in. Actually, no, I'm going to switch that up. I think it gives the advantage to the red team. Well, you've always said that it gives the advantage. Yeah. To the, I'm, I'm yeah. switching up. I got, uh, 
I've always thought that it gives the advantage to the blue team because you can get in and get right to the red base yeah. and not have to go the length of the arena. However, if you make it back that far, there's, there's nobody else that's going to be yeah. around you for a long time. So but I can see either way. There are pluses and minuses to both. Mm -hmm. But there is a definite advantage, depending on your style of gameplay, to be on a certain team. And I don't think that should be an issue with an arena. No. But... Other than that, I mean, the only real gripe I have with uh, Adventure Quest is the lack of a member function. Yeah. It's, it's a place that's aimed at parties and casual mm -hmm. players, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But I would still like some kind of member functionality. Right. If nothing else than just to keep track of my scores and have my name on the board. Mm -hmm. It could be very basic. It's probably the uh, biggest arena I've been to that doesn't have that. Right. And it's it's frustrating but at the same time, it's um, it's not a mood killer because the games themselves are pretty good. And with the Aztec passes, they're pretty cheap, too. Right. Okay, one quick thing, because mm -hmm. we talked about this last in the last one, so we'll talk about it now. Go ahead. Uh, the ready room. Oh, the ready room in this one actually is pretty cool. Yeah. You go in, first there's a, like a, you would you pile into a room with a little stage. Right. And the marshal will ask if anyone, if everyone's played, if everyone has played there, cool go in and get your packs and the pack room right. is extremely well organized in yes. this one it is well organized and no one is let in until everyone's ready exactly that is a big difference between the two places it's, it's, it's very 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 certain that the game is ready to start and one of the reasons is at laser tag the game waits 15 seconds after people walk into the arena right and this arena once that button's pushed, it's on like Donkey Kong. Right. You can shoot people as you're waiting to go you into the arena. You don't even have to get into the arena if, if it's a <laughs> long... Which is kind of cheap. Kind of a, kind yeah. of a dick thing I've to do. I've seen people do that. And I, I don't do it. I did it to one person who was being a dick to me. Okay. <laughs> I reserve that for extreme situations. I can understand that. But but the marshal does take the time to tell you yeah, about the, the arena, show you how to put the pack on, how it works... Yeah. If you're new to it, and that's a good and thing. And there is actual adequate time to go over all this. It's right. very important to new players and to people that are new to the arena, too. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a very chaotic layout. Like I said, this is not one you're going to pick up the layout on in your first game. No. Expect a slight learning curve with it. Yeah, you're going to run into a few dead ends. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it, 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 the first, my, my very first game in there, I think I found every single one. But I found them multiple times. <laughs> get yourself an Aztec pass. Give it at least three games. Yeah. Once you get the layout of the arena, once you learn kind of the flow of the game, it's an awesome arena. It really is. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. It was built with fun in mind. Right. And I will say that if you get the Aztec pass and are able to play your first game just you and a friend, yeah. it's nice to go in and, and explore. have a... Ex yeah, explore and, you know, set some rules out for you and your friend first. Yeah, and, and <laughs> go have a little fun with it. Yeah. All in all, it's a fun arena. It may be a bit bare bones in terms of like members' features and whatnot and some special game types, but it's just a great place to play, and it really does feel like you're getting the full laser tag experience every game there. Right. And obviously, from the response we got from Susan, they care about what people Suzanne. have to... I said Suzanne. <laughs> okay. But from the response from Susan, they obviously care deeply about what their customers say. Right. And they take it seriously, and they made a very expensive upgrade to their equipment based almost exclusively on one person's letter. Okay, obviously they've been planning it for some time, but they, right. they, they expedited it because of my letter. That says something. Right. Well, anything else you want to say? No, that's it. Well, once again, Adventure Quest laser tags at 1200 Clearview Parkway, Suite 1106, behind the Fox and Hound, in front of the AMC Movie Theater. You get in front of the AMC Movie Theater, you can't see it. It's at lasertagnola.com. One game there is $650. Uh, Aztec Passes give eight games for $20. Uh, not available, not available on, on Saturday. Saturday. Don't expect that on Saturday. And they also have two for Tuesday deals. Every Tuesday, two games for the price of one. Hmm, might have to take them up Exactly. On that. Well, I was thinking... Well, on that note, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Horror out of the can for Adventure Quest Laser Tag Arena. Pew, 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 pew.